Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again, and I'm here with my review, and I guess final video, first and only on this Galaxy Z Flip. Now when I bought this phone, I had it with one sole purpose in mind, which was to let my wife use this phone. She really was excited about this form factor. And after the Galaxy Fold, this is the second foldable that Samsung has created, and it basically took the idea of the Fold and kind of reduced it in half. A phone that folds into something much smaller and something that fits into a purse or into a handbag and guys the design of this phone is actually really beautiful it's one of the nicest looking phones that I've used all year and in terms of display obviously we have that gorgeous 6.7 inch display which as you can see is a foldable and it is absolutely a usable display honestly the colors are beautiful vibrant and yes I wish it was a little bit wider perhaps it's not as wide as some of the other phones I typically use so the typing experience has been a bit cramped but overall from design display snapdragon 855 plus performance solid cameras same as the ones you saw on the s10 and s10 plus and the battery life 3300 milliampers while not great has gotten through a day without issue now it's not a battery champ like any of the other phones big 5000 milliampere capacity phones that i typically test and if you're using this kind of casually the way my wife was then honestly it will last you a day no issues and so you may be wondering, but Frankie Tech, what happened with this phone? Did your wife enjoy it? Because let's face it, guys, she was the one who used this primarily for the time I've had it. I've been using it now for about a week on my own, not as my daily phone, but as an additional phone that I've been carrying around, just seeing what the experience was like. And frankly, she enjoyed it quite a bit. She got used to the crease very quickly, and honestly, she had a good time using this phone. The only issue with her is that she's so entrenched in the Apple ecosystem and just using it day to day I could tell that each passing day she used it less and less. Once the novelty of this foldable phone went away, then it just became another Android phone that she just wasn't as accustomed to. She also agreed that this front display was just way too small, especially when it came to taking selfies. Now it's a cool feature that you can do, and you can see me there, it actually works as a viewfinder to take selfies. And as you can see, it doesn't actually show the size of the photo that you're gonna get. So it's really more of a preview and it's not super helpful. And the cameras were solid. We took some decent shots with this phone. I honestly think the cameras were probably one of the better aspects of it, along with the performance. Snapdragon 855 Plus is still a terrific chipset. Guys, we even saw the Realme X3 Super Zoom release yesterday. So there are still new phones coming out with the Snapdragon 855 Plus. And so for my wife, it was more of an ecosystem issue for me it was really more the form factor that I just couldn't get used to. The reality is guys this is a Z Flip but it ain't no fold. And what I mean by that is that the experience of the Galaxy Fold was one that I really just fell in love with. The idea of having a phone or something of this size that then opened up to become something even larger a display that I typically couldn't carry in my pocket. That is the reason why I was so in love with the Galaxy Fold. And to be honest, I got so used to carrying large display phones like the OnePlus 8 Pro. For me, it's a non-issue to have such a large phone in my pocket. In fact, when I closed this Galaxy Z Flip up and actually put it in my pocket, it didn't really know which angle to be in my pocket. It would turn sideways. Sometimes I'd lift it up from the bottom. Sometimes I'd lift it up from the top. It was always kind of jostling around in my pocket. And I realized then the rectangular slabs of smartphones are something that I'm just so used to now. Having this smaller device actually didn't make a difference for me. Now don't get me wrong, this is a terrific foldable device and I'm so glad I had a chance to test this one out. As you guys know, I bought this used for around 8,000 Hong Kong dollars and the good news is I'll be able to resell this for still very close to that price. And you can pick these up now for around 7,000 or under Hong Kong dollars here. So that's well below the original 1380 US dollars that this came at. Now what are things I would love to see in the next generation of this Z Flip? Samsung, we need a larger display on the front. If we had a display, almost a smartwatch size out here, that you could actually use to respond to texts, to notifications, or even be able to access certain apps, that's really going to enhance the experience of this Galaxy Z Flip series. And I guess that's the reality of these Gen 1 Samsung foldables. Both the Galaxy Fold and this Z Flip have the same problem. The front display is just too small. 
And in the case of the Z Flip, I found myself using this opened most of the time or in laptop mode when I was watching videos, but that always got me nervous because then we have the display that's exposed and this is not the most durable display as we've seen from previous videos. Add to that guys the reality, it's an expensive phone. Having an expensive third or fourth phone right now is just not something that I can do. And so this phone is gonna be going back to the store. It's been a great experience Galaxy Z Flip. And honestly, if you are looking for one of the coolest experiences in smartphone tech today. This Galaxy Z Flip is way up there. It's just not the phone for me though. And I'm looking forward to the Galaxy Fold 2 because I feel that is the form factor that I really appreciate the most in these foldable phones. But hit me up in the comments. What are your thoughts on this Galaxy Z Flip? Am I making the right choice here? And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. And that's the reality guys of the situation. Some phones need to go back and I will be selling off a number of phones to kind of make room for future purchases. Unfortunately, I don't get free review units all the time, so I need to make do with what I have. And in this case, this Z Flip is going to allow me to get a number of new phones to test out in the next couple of weeks. So that's it for this one. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one.